You may build a DIY crossover, and after measuring the frequency response, you notice that the phase response is not linear. This nonlinear phase can degrade sound quality. Fortunately, there's a compact and free software that can help. We'll work with a real example of a two-way crossover using a woofer and a tweeter. You'll see their individual responses and also the combined response. While the frequency response might look balanced, the phase response is not linear, and that's the problem we'll solve today. Rephase allows you to flatten the phase response and achieve a linear phase, which results in clearer, more natural sound. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use it, step by step. Step 1. Download Rephase. First, download and open the Rephase software. Step 2. Import frequency response. Import your measured frequency response file. Ideally, a text file with magnitude and phase. Step 3. Go to Phase EQ section. Navigate to the Phase EQ tab. Here, we'll manually adjust the phase to make it as flat as possible. To better see fluctuations in the graph, change the vertical range temporarily to plus or minus 20. After you're done, return it to 180 to evaluate the overall flatness. You can also specify a Q value or filter accuracy for each slider. The higher the Q, the narrower the filter, affecting a smaller frequency range. A lower Q will affect a wider frequency range. As you can see, the phase response is now almost completely flat. You could refine it even more. But for this tutorial, we'll stop here. Now it's time to export the correction file. Before that, check your sound card settings. Twenty-four bit forty-eight thousand hertz, and make sure you match those settings and rephase before exporting. Cut and paste the exported file into the Equalizer Apo config folder. Open Equalizer Apo and import the file you generated. Since both left and right speakers use the same crossover, you can apply the same file to both channels if you use separate files. It might cause a slight delay between L and R channels.
Thanks for watching.